It's not V. <laughs> Go on, guys. Grab the microphone, huh? All right. Oh, it's got a gun. Tonight, I'm... I'm here to say goodbye to all of you. Okay. Money's money, can't fuck around with it. Speaking. You're wasting your lives following us around like dogs. I curled up your ass. <laughs> nice. Then we can talk. How much do you want for it? Who's this uh -huh. guy? Okay. I want it today. Great. Right. Well. No need. Wait up. Don't do this. You could still change your mind. Get over here, man. Fuck this band. Not your crowd, not your noise. Do your own thing. Bastard. I'm gonna miss you something awful. See you in the next life, friend. Like no. Put this on and it stays on. Got it? So, uh, where are we headed? Three, huh? Viewers are on fire. Pacific has caught off, shut down. APC's on the streets of Watson. Sons of bitches. Skull cracking out there. That us? Johnny's idea. Wayland's drawing Aristotle's attention away from the tower. Collateral damage part of the plan, too. This is the Cub Scout, Johnson. Chew it up, spit it out. Some people, I guess. Oh, 
some turrets. There. I think we got all of them. Chaos, screaming, roll credits. Exit window's gonna be tight. Jacking in. Is grass green? Do birds fly? You can't see bats. Do rats shit bats? Mainframe's not your playground, Murphy. Come on. Evac announcement. Broadcast it across all frequencies and let's get moving. Sheesh. <laughs> Who wrote this manifesto? Really need me to answer that question? Jesus, Johnny, you've gone off the deep end. And that's coming from a chair jock. Come on! Get ready! Ray this is one way to go! Forward! Okay, this gun far more powerful. Two bomb's name is what? Wrap it up. We got a delta. The Demolitron. We're good to blow. Shaka Elite incoming. There, Run Joy. for it. Shoot the cables. My aim is terrible. Done yet. Still need to feed this to their subnet. I fucking knew it. This was never about corporate colonialism. This was about your groupie output, wasn't it? No, you wouldn't understand, Rogue. Giving you four fucking minutes. Chopper's not gonna wait one sec longer. Door lock breached. Arasaka sons of bitches incoming. Love you, Spider. Get out of my way. terrorist organization released a manifesto threatening violence. The terrorists stating their desire to, quote-unquote, topple a monument to corporate colonialism. 
Night City's mayor, Mbole Ebonike, has issued a statement declaring that he will bring the full force of the law to bear in response to any act of terrorism. Going now to our reporter on the scene at Arasaka Tower. Hopefully he can shed some light on the situation as events unfold. All set. Now get out of there. Time to leave. They're moving up. Hit the roof quick. All right. Let's get out of here. Ow. Shit. That's Adam Smasher. Hmm. Johnny, run! Well. Murphy. Door sealed, but it won't hold for long. Run, Johnny. Like the wind. Johnny boy, told you I'd end you someday. Oops. How'd we do? Hi, mother, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Try once more. Your associates. Who are they? How did you acquire fistful material? Gonna give good cop over there a chance to say something? <laughs> Come on. <sighs> Which terrorist organization do you belong to? How did you acquire fistful material? <sighs> Don't look too pleased with your efforts. Ah, oh, damn. Done and gone. My husband died in that tower. It's worse than death. Mm. I didn't want him to die. Naze Konoyona Koto. Why did you do this? To bring an end to the madness, you wreak. Hitoa Usotsuki, Jibunji Shimoazam. シャワシが。シャワ有便だが、彼らは決して嘘をつかない。死者の言葉には慎ましさがある。始めろ。Strange. Oh, it's trippy. And you, and you, 
Who are you? Who are you? Where am I? I got dumped. <laughs> And the garbage. Look at that. Well, that ain't nice. Considering I got shot in the head, could be doing worse. Keep crawling. Is that Dex? Takamura? Yeah. Arasaka-sama, Otoo-sama no sasugai haan o mizukemashita. Kono otoko de machigai yarimasen. Hai. Ichi jikan go ni a tsukka to. Help me. Quiet. Worth a shot. I mean, I'm not dead, so it's that. Sounds like my employment with Dexter Deshaun is uh, over. thing. Oh, hello. That's exciting. Oh, I need to suddenly... Okay. Did I not hit anything? These guys... Motorcycle on fire, which is good. Where's he go?
This is terrifying. Am I even in control of this? Doesn't sound like I'm actually doing anything. Started it. We both could use medical attention. Do you know a Ripadok whom you can trust? I've seen them before. Troy. The exterminators. We must get to Ripadok quickly. Did well back there. Do not waste time. Victor will fix us up. We have to get there somehow. Call someone. Anyone. Why? Why not just cut me loose? I'm a dead weight to you. Make the call. All right, all right. Greetings. My scanner indicates you are outside the surface area. Just come pick me up. I need to get to Misty's Isodzerica. Run a fix. Of course. A vehicle is en route. It should arrive in less than 20 minutes. What are you doing? Hey! The personal link is damaged. Please proceed to insert the jack below the ear. Though not too deep. There should be auxiliary neuro sockets between his lymph nodes, beneath the SCM muscle. If I hit the vein by mistake, he will die. Indeed, as he will if you do nothing. I think I have the socket. Now proceed to connect. Let's get him inside. I cannot hold it. I need to rest. That your blood? Mistake. Among others. Pressure's tanking. It's neurogenic shock. He's dying. Gotta cut my way through the occipital bone. No other way. There is risk of... I know what I'm doing. Still looks a little weird. Um, hello? How is he? Slower on the men than you, but looking better every day. How you feeling? 
I don't know, Vic. Here's a ring. But I'm seeing shit. These hallucinations. Describe them to me. Blinding lights. It's loud. I'm on stage and I almost can't breathe. I'm so damn full of hatred. Then I let it all out into a mic. And I realized it didn't help. I don't feel any better. And then, <laughs> promise not to laugh. I plant a bomb in Arasaka Tower. Nothing there to laugh about. Night City looked different, strange. And I hated it. I hated everybody, every inch. It was too real, even for a lucid dream. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. There's a personality construct on that shard. Dreams you had were from his past. Saying I experienced another psyche's memories? How's that possible? You two are connected in a way I can't make head or tail of. Two? Me and who, Vic? Who's the other? Johnny Silverhand, a terrorist. Real talk of the town back in my day. <sighs> anyway, that's not what's important right now. What is? The biochip. It's basically a bomb. Fuse lit already. You don't have much time left. Much life. A few weeks tops. Silverhand's construct is overriding your consciousness, gradually taking over your body until one day you'll just well, be that's fun. gone. V, it's important you get all this. Fix me up, right? Vic? If I could, I would, V. Believe me. But this is... It's way beyond what I know how to do. You're the best of the best, Vic. Why can't you help me? You want the long story or the short? Don't admit a thing. Not one deep. Okay, there was, is, a construct, a psyche on the chip, that of Johnny Silverhand. You jacked it in your chip slot. Nothing happened, right? Until you died. Bullet in the head from Dexter to Sean. But how do you come back from something like that? Low caliber, you lucked out. Not least thanks to another poor decision by Mr. Deshaun. The nanites off the chip started fixing the damage. Then they took your hand and coaxed you off the path toward the light. People don't just die and get up like nothing happened. Used to be true. Now it's only if they don't have a classified piece of corpo tech primed to resurrect them. What about me? My psyche? I'll make it back from the other side and what? I'm supposed to pretend change is normal? Ask the Arasaka engineers who built the thing. All I know is, your mind's gonna go. And it won't be pretty. From the biochip's perspective, your brain cells are a tumor that needs to be scooped out. While your body's an empty shell to hold the construct. So this fucking terrorist wants to wipe me and take my place, take my body. It's not willful on his part, it's automatic, inevitable, and neither of you can stop it. Fuck. I remember this thing. Saw it on TV. What was that stupid slogan? Soul something? Secure your soul. But that's it. It's just supposed to let you communicate with constructs. Maybe, but this is a prototype by the look of things. Somehow made it out of Arasaka Labs. 
Can't we just take the chip out? Or switch it off? Either way is out of the question. You die immediately. Vic, you've always come through for me. If there's nothing you can do to help me, then... Well, what the hell do I do? Tell me, please. Vic. I wish I knew a kid. Misty. You're asking too much from an old timer like Vic. Come on, V. Let's get you home. And then he died. And I thought I was gonna die. With him in my sleep. Sleep's a small hint of death. The inevitable. Can't actually tell if I'm awake now. I mean, I could be dead already, right? Not something to focus on, V. Let it go. Here. Got some meds for you. Omega blockers. Taken regularly, they'll keep things from progressing too quickly. Also, they should keep that guest of yours calm and quiet. Pseudo-endotrizine's from me. Effect will be opposite. It'll speed things up. Free the demon, so to speak. Giving me a pill to prod that son of a bitch so he can kill me faster? Listen, you're likely to be fine for a while. But sometime down the road, it, it could turn into pure agony. I'm giving you options, honey. The brain can be tricked. Plain old painkillers do that. Your psyche's gonna die, V. You'll feel your old self slipping away. At some point, you won't recognize yourself. It'll be terrifying. It'll be painful. But it doesn't have to be. Yes. Fuck, I need pills for <laughs> Ought to just stick a gun in my mouth and pull the trigger. Well, that way you'd kill two souls. Is that what you want? Yeah. I gotta lie down. There's something to sleep over. Here. Got one more thing for you. Vic pulled this out of your skull. A lucky charm? Uh-huh. <laughs> Promise you'll try to get some sleep? Didn't you hear? My condition's terminal. What good can this do? Don't be silly. As long as you're alive, there's hope. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You really think I can make it? Survive this? Of course you can. I mean, you did already die and come back once, didn't you? <laughs> Misty, wait. Uh, about Jackie. Yeah? He talked about you. Like lots. We got into a fight. Right before he went off to do this job. He wasn't mad at you. I hope you know that. I know. I just wish our last moments together could have been different but right now you need rest so sleep please sleep all right nice jammies
gotta get out of here, understand? And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way. You included. Mm. Need a smoke. Where'd you stash yours? smoke then go out and get some just need one last one jesus fucking christ man the fuck kind of joy toy are you supposed to be fucking ghost off <laughs> who you work for start talking fuck <laughs> Fucking chip. Rip the thing out myself. No, wait. Oh, the hell you will, dude. I'll find a way. You hear me? See you never, asshole. <laughs> yeah. Now like that. Stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger. I can feel it. Our minds touch on you. I'm like mold on fruit creeping into you. Nothing I can do about it. You hear me? I'd puke if I fucking could. It's just a copy of the engram. I'm out there somewhere. Gotta be. Oh, I can crawl. Leave me alone. Get out. Get Just out. Get, the get the fuck, the fuck out. out. Let the head only thing that can fix this. Hear me, asshole. A bullet to the fucking brain. Goodbye. Oh, fuck me. Act two. Here we are. Levels up. Look at me. Tell me. Oops. Nope. Not what I want to do. Messages. Oh, that's an old one. This is what we got. Oh, good. Okay. Jackie's body got delivered. All right. Um, well, need to stock up on ammo, find something to eat, check your email. Okay. Well, before we get there, uh, this is as good of a time as any for me to, uh, 
to uh, come clean about something, which is that uh, we're dealing with a new V, and I will show him in just a second. Let me uh, let me fix a little glitchy thing I've seen around. So one sec. All right. So um, this is a new V. Uh, he is. Uh, the reason I created a new V is because um, I wanted to kind of make a more a box artish V. So as you can see, his his uh, physique is a little different, and he's also a street kid. Um, and the reason I did that is because I think, just based on how the uh, the action part of the game is going, it makes more sense canonically for him to be one. And I'd like to. Um, play through the story that it, that it, I'm broadcasting um, at least so that um, it's a little bit more in line with with, uh, with how, how I'm playing him don't worry the uh, corpo character is still around he's, he's not gone um, I will continue probably playing him off screen and when I get to a decent level with his skills and everything I'll probably do like a show off clip with him as a one-off but this is our new V um, he is first off. Let me let me put some clothes on him because this is just weird. Um, please excuse the yellow bomber jacket. I'm not a huge fan of it, but this is the closest I could get to his box art look. So I'll look for something better later. Uh, he needs shoes. Yeah, he's a little tacky, but uh, if you're not, got the Satori. I didn't need that. This is uh, Mr. Yorin Nobu Arasaka's gun. So um, the character himself, so uh, similar kind of stat spread as as the uh, as the Corpo V, except um, he is actually specked out for handgun work. I did that because two things: one, I wanted to get better with uh, shooting weapons. Uh, I'm not very good at it, and figured this was a good of time as any to learn. So. Um, I'm running a handgun build, and hopefully later on with some of the uh, more athletic skills and acrobatic skills perks, um, I can provide a more cinematic experience for the character. So yeah, he's uh, pretty pretty uh, max. Or he's working on maxing out most of these skills for handguns. And then I'm the secondary ability is cool. He's not as much of a stealth character as the corpo, although I did put one point in the Crouching Tiger because the movement speed while sneaking is nice and I still plan on using stealth whenever a mission asks me to. And then Cold Blood is the next one. Uh, Cold Blood re is really good. Like, uh, this this base stack is, is absolutely wonderful when it comes to um, uh, endurance and you'll see that as I, as I go through combat rounds. But yeah, so... Um, Put a couple of points in it and int just so I can do some of the early terminal hackings because those are fun. Um, but I'm not really planning on making him a net runner or anything like that. I might reserve that for a future character build. Um, so he's he's just using um, a couple of extra points for being able to hack into terminals. But otherwise, I'm not. I'm kind of leaving this alone. Body's going to be our third um, ability or attribute that I'll invest some in. Athletics is really hard to level still, so I've got to work on that. But the idea is to get some of these uh, these uh, um, abilities, such as transporter, um, so I can stack that with handguns. And yeah, that is our V um, current weapon of choices, Congo, the uh, aforementioned gun from Yuri Nobu. Before that, I was using the Dying Knight pistol. Now I was maxing that out or upgrading it whenever I could. And he actually has a projectile launch system. Uh, I boosted up his street cred so that uh, I could go to a Ripper dock and get that installed, which is nice. In terms of progression, not really missing out on much. I tried to do the sim same kind of missions that uh, the Corpo V did. Um, I think I might have done a couple of extra ones here and there, uh, but should mostly be the same. So I don't think I'm hoping that whatever video I record is not gonna lose out on the uh, experience. And yeah, so that is our V. Now, the next order of business is leveling up, because I'm level 13 now. And it uh, looks like I've got a buffer for stealth and cold blood in terms of 
where those are level wise. Handgun is at 8. I've got a while until I max it out. So I'm actually going to put another point in body so I can get. Um, not the fall damage one, but I thought there was another level 7 one. Yeah, this is pretty good. Amorphosis. So I'm going to put another point in body. And I'm going to buy this. Nice. Alright, what else do we have to do? Stock up on ammo. I didn't know already. Uh, you can actually deposit some of the iconic weapons. And I believe with Satori... I now have... Yep, Satori is now nicely displayed there. So yeah. I don't know why these are here. I'll take those. Um, our sock up like them. Nice. Some weapons. Your new slacks. Your new formal shirt. I think I picked that up in his apartment as well. And steel pipe. Okay. Yeah, Congo is better than Dynite, so Dynite's gonna get uh, deposited. Yeah, I'll take some pistol ammo. Where is food? That's vodka. It's not what I had in mind. Maybe here? Bounce back. Um. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. Done looking at myself. And, uh. Where's food? Oh, is this food? Burrito. Okay. And then check your email. My rent is past due. Okay. I won the lottery. Okay, Takamura. Takemura here. We must meet. Come to Thomas Diner. Uh Yeah. Hmm. Why would I do that? It's a fair question to ask. Because I am the one who saved your life. It's a fair response. I haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? Mm. If you intend to leave, you must re enter the ring. The bell has already told. Thomas Diner, I am waiting. You know what? Oh shit, oh. not good. Hmm. My vehicle is available for collection in the nearby parking garage. Okay. Well, let's go pick up the car. And we can go, uh... Okay. And then we can go, uh, meet, uh, oh, I see, these are the, uh, these are the fighting side gigs. Okay. I think I'm gonna have to raise my, uh, Street Brawler skill for that a little bit, which we can do. So, um, yeah, let's go, let's go pick up the car, and then we can, uh, go meet Takamura. Or, how far is Takamura? Do I need to? Uh, wait. 
Oh, it's not far. You know what? Let's walk. I'm I'm doing this mostly because uh, I kind of know what happens already when I go down to the garage. Uh, you'll see soon as well. NCPD, open up. Barry, we know you're in there. We're here to help. Don't got no fucking warrant. Cut the bullshit. Just open up. We came here as colleagues. Nothing else. Haven't heard from you in a while. We're worried. No. Now leave me alone. Congrats, Mendez. Way to be a prick. Oh, what? So I'm the bad guy? I'm not the one who's holed up playing the attention whore. He lost a friend. Can you blame him? He's not the first or the last. It's called life. Hey, what's going on? I live right upstairs. So keep on living. Stop minding other people's biz. Mendez, hold on. It's his neighbor. Hmm. Is there anything I can do? Maybe. You know Barry at all? More or less. Struck up a convo once or twice. He's a friend from the precinct. Left the force not long ago. He broke down after his best friend died. We're worried he'll do something stupid. Relax, Patrol. Barry's got nerves of steel. He's just a spiteful old bastard. Mendez! Could you check on him when he's chilled down? Sure. Sure, why not? It's not like we're miles apart. Thanks. Just be patient. Cops falling in rough times can be touchy. Let's see what I can do. Alright. We'll do that later. Didn't seem like we wanted to uh, chat, so. <laughs> What's up? I haven't seen you in a good one, two, few weeks. <laughs> Figured you'd skip town. <laughs> yeah. Just trouble, usual stuff. Ah, ah, in need of iron and lead, then I take it. Next time through, working against the clock today. Thanks. News. Today is a sad one in our city's history. Mayor Lucius Ryan has passed away. We learned of Mayor Ryan's death from his family. He died peacefully in his sleep. The exact cause of his death has not been released, but initial <laughs> reports suggest coronary implant failure. The remainder of Mayor Ryan's term will be fulfilled by his deputy mayor and closest associate, Weldon Holt. Holt Wonder if that has any story implications. Okay. So let's go. Oh yeah, he's, he's nearby. I can totally go see him. Mama Wells. Hmm. Lovely. Just sent you an offer to buy a vehicle. All right. I'll call her, but uh, want to meet with Takamura. Get that out of the way, and then we'll get back to all the other stuff. Pizza. You do not look so bad. Well, considering I'm then, dying. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. Oh, thanks. So sweet of you. Why'd you help me anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. 
this about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond the repair. Yep. Any attempt to extract it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorino Barasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. I'm thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Cool. Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? Mm. No idea. Got no clue. Evelyn was knowledgeable about the relic. Had a large chunk of classified info. An enigma to be sure. But she showed that slyness he get in corporal agents. You know the kind. I too possess this slyness you speak of. You got tossed out, lumped with the outcasts, easily. Or have you forgotten? <sighs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose, so... Be wait. I need you. Oh, well, you need me, huh? Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice. In Night City. I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. Sure. So what? We stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear are uh, its heart. People interested in the corporation's stable growth. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prep for the heist. Thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true. He's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka. Betrayed it. Hmm. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking soccer scums everywhere. Hey, I was listening to that. <laughs> Shut up. Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you Ooh. say? You heard Let me. Let go, Takamura. Yeah, let's not, let's not cause trouble. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Tom's all right. Not afraid to speak his mind, that's all. 
He reminds me of my father. He also worked in a kitchen all his life. Mm -hmm. Last thing we want to do is to draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Oh, yeah. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. Mmm, that one, Parker, I'm not sure. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Somebody's been busy the last few days. I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found. Things I to like prepare. Him. Your job, basically. It was my job. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Sabro-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats will squeal when hanging by their tails. <laughs> for several days. I collected the information. All leads point to one place. The club called the Afterlife. Hey, we've been there. I was quickly dismissed by the Queen of Fixers there. Rogue. That's uh, Silverhand's uh, boo. She take you for a suit? No. She saw me as Saburo-sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. <laughs> <laughs> Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another oh, fight with our okay, hold on. Hellman did. I myself. Yep. Uh. Why are you looking for him? He was. Corporal Rats was. For seven. I was quick. She take you for. No. Rogue's well informed. I wish you luck. The most things that have the old mind is choosy. Might be worth asking her about Helmut. Okay. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. Random guy just if appeared on time. And she he would not slid, manage to slid off. <laughs> Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes. I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Your noble Arasaka would agree. I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. Well. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends. Call in some friends. Sounds like side quest time. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. All right. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Uh, the violent kind? Oh, hi. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Our Saka is still a despotic machine, and the world is um. on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. Yeah, I mean. You know, you got some nerve. First, you had to kill me, now you want to be my pal. Make it like nothing happened. You know, you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. Still learning. What do you want? And I've processed some shit. Changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, big <laughs> one. Yeah. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. 
You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. Hmm. Why should I trust you? Remind me again. Trust me, don't trust me. I don't give a fuck. It's the least of our worries, anyway. Well, you're the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What do I say to her? Got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seeing your memories, gross. <laughs> Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. Alright. More car deals. But, play for time is done. And, uh, definitely think it is time for us to take a break from main missions and uh, explore all that Night City has to offer now that uh, we've got uh, the whole city opened up. So yeah, I'm gonna do some exploration, take care of some NCPD scanner stuff that popped up, and uh, yeah, just uh, tackle some of the gigs. Let's see. Play it again. Countdown. Hmm. And then this is, uh... This must be tied to the street creds. Okay. Awesome. Judy Alvarez. Judy was, uh... Mox. Goes down. Okay. 